there have been contradictory studies in the past done on the long-term and short-term effects of having an abortion, what sort of effects it has physically and mentally on women. They tend to be somewhat contradictory, uh, but now we have data. Uh, this is coming from the Advancing New Standards in Reproductive Health Group, uh, which is in San Francisco. Now, uh, they took data from 956 women who sought abortions at 30 different abortion clinics around the U.S. Now, some of them were able to have abortions. 182 were actually turned away for various reasons. Perhaps they're too late in the pregnancy, uh, things like that. Now, you should understand uh, that these women came from uh, very different uh, sorts of economics uh, situations, mm -hmm. but that it's fairly even between the two. There's not a huge gap economically between the women who had the abortion and who didn't. And so uh, then, after identifying these women, this organization was able to follow them and find out what happened to them. And so we have some data on that. Uh, in terms of mental health, they found that there were no mental health consequences of abortion compared to carrying an unwanted pregnancy to term. Uh, and that later abortion is safer than childbirth. Uh, women who carry an unwanted pregnancy to term are three times more likely than women who receive an abortion to be below the poverty level two years later. So that's uh, an economic and social effect. Um, but yeah, a lot of people worry that after having an abortion, women are going to be mentally traumatized. And there is some very short term, like feelings of sadness or guilt. Mm -hmm. uh, but but there's overall relief, actually, they found. Exactly. Was yeah. that the overall feeling was not was a little bit of guilt, but, but the overall feeling was one of relief. And the overall feeling for women who were turned away was of stress mm -hmm. and realizing that this, they were now stuck in a situation that they either physically, emotionally, or economically were, knew they were not going to be able to handle. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so we, we have some other data about what, what happens after, uh, after having the, the child. One that I thought was interesting was that women who were denied an abortion, which seems to imply that... Uh, they don't necessarily want to have the child. As you see here, only 11% a year later had put the child up for ad adoption. 86% uh, had kept the child. Um, and so even when they were ready to have an abortion were denied, they tend to keep the child. And so w we've talked a bit about the mental effects, but uh, the effects, I think, in terms of the life situation of the women after mm -hmm. getting it denied, I think that's really uh, interesting. So let's look at uh, in terms of public assistance. So uh, women. Uh, one of the main reasons they'd want to get an abortion is they don't feel that they can afford to raise right. the child. In this case, it seems like they were on to something because if you look at this percentage of women who received public assistance, 76% of them were uh, turnaways. 44% uh, of those who got abortions were on public assistance. Um, and you see that overall, 67% of the turnaways were below the poverty line. So you see a big gap there between what, what started out as the same social and economic situation um, not having, not being able to get the abortion seems right. to have a negative impact on them. Yeah, and I think that, in my opinion, that uh, that statistic is the most important one to come out of this study. That one, along with the one that's saying women who carried an unwanted pregnancy to term were three times more likely than than someone who received an abortion to be below the poverty level two years later. And the big impact this is going to have um, is that that places more burdens on the state because now more and more women are needing assistance and needing, you know, welfare or, or state provided assistance and so that were that places more burden on the state um, which you know I think a huge argument against abortion is um, one that they don't want people to pay for it well guess what the state's going to be paying for the welfare and the, and this and yeah. the, the aid to those women um, and and some other uh, arguments against abortion are people who say well I just think killing is wrong mm -hmm. well it doesn't affect you. <laughs> if you're not getting an abortion, it doesn't affect you. And so I think this is really important to show all the negative ways that it does affect the women who are in that position, yeah. rather than just the people who want to impose their own morals on everybody else. Yeah, well, I, I think in terms of the, the argument about it being murder or harm to, to a, a living being, I think that this sort of data is probably not going to sway those people at all. But we're trying to make you understand that there is a, a, a human cost right. to these policies that turn women away. One other, and this is something that I wouldn't have guessed, but if you look at the relationship status of these women after having uh, the abortion or being denied it, you look at abusive relationships, 7% of the women denied abortions reported an incident of domestic violence in the last six months, compared to just 3% of women who received the abortions. And the, the people conducting the study say that the reason for this is that when you have the child, it's a lot harder to get out of the abusive relationship. Mm -hmm. And for some of these women, that might be one of the reasons they wanted the abortion in the first place, is because they didn't feel that it was a, a safe or healthy environment mm -hmm. to bring up the child. 
So uh, they, they have a number of findings like this, and we're just trying to get you to understand that there is a human cost. It's not just economic, and while this might not sway some people who, for moral or eth uh, ethical or religious reasons, are opposed to it, any of these economic arguments or worries about the psychological status of the women afterward, they don't stand up when you actually study it.